what's going on you like welcome to my channel if you're new here hi hello i'm lydia and today we're going to be talking about something i consider this to be important and this is 25 things not to say to someone with a mental illness <laughs> It isn't real. It's just in your head. You're making it up. You're just sad. Stop being so dramatic. You're just attention seeking. Just smile more. You need to exercise more. You need to change your diet. You don't need those meds. It's just pharmaceutical companies trying to make money out of you. If you take psychiatric medication, you're just going to become an addict. Just don't think about it. You don't look depressed. Just sleep more. You're just going to become an addict. You don't look depressed. Just sleep more. You just need a routine. You're depressing to be around. You're not gonna kill yourself, are you? You haven't been to war. How can you be traumatized? You're just bored. Just motivate yourself. Everyone has anxiety. You're not a cut around you. Just smoke cannabis. <laughs> That's all I have for this video. Mental illness is not something to be taken lightly. This video was to show some of the stupid comments that people have made to me in my life. Mental illness does not have a quick fix. Someone with an eating disorder, if they're anorexic, they can't just eat. There's this entire thing called refeeding syndrome, which if you know anything about eating disorders, you know all about. But if you don't, then you won't know that. And you'll just be like, just eat. And it really doesn't work like that. And that's something I wanted to put in this video because people think that mental health improvement it's about exercise routine therapy no meds or just meds and it's not like that M recovery with mental illness is a combination of things for me i have a mental health team and i take medication when i said the don't be an addict thing in this i took my meds i'm described as a pound three times a day and people always say you're just gonna get addicted to it i personally do not have cravings for as a pound honestly most days i forget to even fucking take it which isn't the best but i also take I take quetiapine, I take venlafaxine, I take zopiclone, I take other medications and they help. You will not catch me saying the medication is not something I rely on because I do. It's how I get from A to B in my life. I wish there was a way to do it without medication but there just isn't for me. I've tried a lot of things and the medication that I take now is what works best for me. A lot of us are judged and stigmatised by people in daily life and that sucks. Honestly, it, it, it sucks. <laughs> The stigma's there. The only way we can break the stigma is if we talk about things and by talking about things we are not attention seeking. If we sell harm, you are not weak for choosing to take medication. You are not weak because you rely on medication. You are not weak because you are to therapy. The stigma around mental health needs breaking and I'm happy to sit or in this case stand to talk about it with you. The reason I started this channel and the reason I've continued it is because I've been through stuff. You know, I have experience with talking about these things. And when I started doing YouTube, not many people were here talking about mental health openly with no filter. And because I'm so open, I've received a, a lot of hate. I have, and it's horrible. I hope you enjoyed this video and if you learned a thing or two. Hopefully some of you saw the comedic value in this. I'm no comedian by any means, but I did enjoy making this video. So thank you for the watching. Thank you for watching and I'll see you guys soon. Peace. Bye guys.